All right. My name is Christian Noggle, and I am the Ultra Supreme Eccentrical Guardian Master of the Crucial Mysteries at the Amab, that is, Esoteric Majestic Order of Bottlenose. It's about 11.08 p.m. right now on the night of Thursday, June 23rd, 2016. And I got the remains of the great master of mysteries, Beak Child. He is the founding leader of the Esoteric Majestic Order of Bottlenose. He influenced me and Dylan Cox very significantly. And right here in this bag is his remains. That's what's left of his body. Uh, you might be able to see all the uh, bone that they crushed up. I believe this metal tag right here is what was on his body when he, whenever he was burned in the furnace or whatever. And it came in this nice uh, kind of black velvet bag, which came inside of a nice wooden box. And... Uh, very, very nice here. And he has a, uh, has a death certificate, although they got his name wrong. And I believe it's because of um, some mess up in the paperwork. Something was misinterpreted. My mom had his name as Mr. Child uh, for several years. Um... And um, it looks like it was written on here, and then they just misinterpreted. Um, but anyway, it came with this uh, booklet. Um, understanding your feelings, pet, families, and the grieving process. The grieving process for pet owners is not always acknowledged or understood. Uh, this guy provided courtesy of your veterinarian. May be helpful to you and your family members during this time. Um, came with this kind of uh, folder thing. It says, uh, keep them in your heart. Uh, yes, I indeed will keep Beak Child in my heart uh, forever. And it came in this nice, everything came in this nice bag. I was told that the service cost roughly about $150, which in my opinion is worth it. Um, looks like Pet Angel has, you know, takes this thing very seriously. Of course, it is their business model. Um, I, they did it uh, much better than I expected. Um, you know, I didn't know that this is, you know, is a service, uh, you know, taken very seriously by the market um but they did i was pretty impressed uh it'd be nice if um the person who handled the whole thing with the veterinarian uh, on my behalf would have taken more precautions um because i was busy at work when all this happened and um I was trying to get the phone number of the veterinarian so I can make sure all the arrangements are made properly. But uh, somebody was reluctant to give me the phone number of the vet's office. Um, you know, and I was told that, well, you know, the vet's busy all the time. So, you know, there's... Shh, be quiet, oh, Zion. So that, you know, there's no... Pract I was told there's no practical way for me to go into the vet's office and deal with this properly. So... Now, as a result, I got a death certificate, um, you know, that says Mr. Chud, C-H-U-D, um, instead of at least Mr. Child, um, which would have been more proper, but actually, his name is Beak Child. It's spelled B-E-E-K-C-H-I-L-D. That's his name, but... Like I said, somebody on who was operating on my behalf, uh, taking care of all this, didn't see things the way I did. And so now I'm going to have to try to contact Pet Angel, and then they're going to have to feel all bad, like, oh, 
we screwed up. And I'm, all, I'm like, oh, it's not, it's not really exactly your fault, but anyway, um, just, so it's just one of those situations. Uh, what I would like to do is get a, uh, an urn in the shape of a great horned owl. Um, that's made out of diamonds. Now, it does not have to be jewelry grade diamonds. It can be just the rough stone diamonds um, out of the ground that have not really been cut. Uh, but I do want them to be chemically, naturally occurring diamonds. Uh, they can be all cloudy. They can be ugly or whatever. They just have to be chemically authentic diamonds made in the earth. Um, you know, it's, it goes with his teachings, Beak Child's teachings. Oh, because he was a magical owl. He taught me the mystery of diamonds. He taught Dylan the mystery of diamonds. He taught Johannes McGillicuddy the mystery of diamonds. And, you know, it's people, there, there's some people that, you know, enjoy this kind of, you know, mystery kind of stuff. Uh, but then there's some people that, that just don't quite take it seriously. Um, and then they, um, well, these are the people who now, in the 21st century, say that they believe in Jesus. You know, that's their whole big thing, you know, for them is that, you know, they believe in Jesus. But yeah, if you go back, you know, about, you know, 2,000 or so years ago, they they wouldn't have taken Jesus seriously because these people are mainstream people that I'm talking about. They go with whatever's mainstream. So at that time, you know, um, Judaism in that area was mainstream um, in that part of the Middle East. And, you know, uh, they considered Jesus to be a, a troublemaker or outsider. You know, people didn't really realize what they had. And then, of course, you know, that's part of what all happened to him and then you know 2000 years later you know it's all become mainstream and it's like it, it's it's all of a sudden you know, well not it's been a work in progress but you know it's no longer taboo or weird to believe in Jesus uh, at least a hundred years ago and you know the early 20th century but people don't seem to understand you know what concept is you know they Anyway, so that's why they don't understand Beak Child. That's why don't, they don't take it seriously. They don't understand why the three colors are used in the Amab, especially blue. They don't understand why the diamonds, why the owl, why the monkeys. You know, they don't understand why outer space, like any of this. They don't understand its meaning, do they, Osian? Uh -uh. Do they need to love his soul? Do they actually love him, though? Mm-mm. Why is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, thanks for watching. And monk up some beak child and pet his magic alien owl soul forever.